Hello everyone, Bill Lewis here in Scottsdale, Arizona to share with you our North American uh, Forever Business Owners this training webinar on retailing the products. Our presentation today includes an interview we recorded yesterday with manager Lynette McGuire from Nova Scotia. Before we hear from Lynette, let's jump into an overview training on retailing. First of all, Retailing or marketing or sharing, uh, call it whatever you will, is an essential part of our business. It's absolutely critical uh, that all serious bus business owners develop a customer base through retailing. And uh, that provides uh, an immediate income for them. That's one of the big advantages of it. It's also for the purpose of assuring monthly activity status as we grow in the business. And it's a that uh, that customer base and that retail those retailing activities and efforts also uh, provide us with a source uh, of future downline FBOs that we can sponsor. So let's talk about each of these for just a second. The, first of all, developing a customer base. This should be the first objective of any new FBO, and it should be a constant objective of any uh, seasoned. Uh, forever business owner as well, whether you're uh, uh, the newest uh, assistant supervisor or a very uh, successful manager in the company. Now, a customer base includes both retail and Novus customers. So what we want to do is to shoot for a group of anywhere from 15 to 20 regular retail customers, regular um, Novus customers, retail or Novus are both included. From this base, uh, we will uh, obtain a, uh, a stable, solid uh, retail income each month that we can use to further develop our FBOs. Now, the immediate income that I talked about can be quite substantial because retailing, remember, we can receive profits of 30% or 15% depending upon whether we are selling the product to a retail client or a Novus customer. Novus customer being a consumer who is simply getting a discount. For example, if you have a, a 20 retail customers who are each spending $100 with you per month, that can mean anywhere from $700 to $960, depending upon your sales level. level. The 700 being assistant supervisor area and the 960 being in the uh, manager area. Uh, also, if uh, 20 Novus customers in this example at $100 each would be um, a 400 to 600 uh, and 60 dollars uh, profit for Novus customers. So uh, this is something that can certainly help with the budget each month. It is uh, provides uh, good spending money and uh, is certainly not to not to be overlooked or uh, in any way pushed into the background. Now. Another thing that the retailing does is that it will help us to remain for case credit active. Case credits generated from your personal purchases that you use in your own home, plus your customer sales, which includes both retail and Novus, are always counted toward your active case credits. One of the, uh, one of the primary purposes of, of, of developing a customer base is to reach the point to where you are moving four case credits or more per month. Also, the, data, the um, customer base gives you a perfect, um, a perfect resource for potential FBOs. Why? Because most of our most successful FBOs came from our customer base in the first place. Satisfied customers can be great FBOs. I'll never forget one of uh, one of the most successful FBOs that I ever sponsored. She started off as a customer. She used the products for a few weeks, got great results, decided that she wanted to make a go of it to uh, to uh, uh, build a business of her own. She thought, hey, if these pr products work so well for me, I'm sure that I can recommend them to others and grow a business. But she became converted to the product by first being a customer, first using it, and, um, and then she went on to build a very successful business. This was 37 years ago that I sponsored her, and she's still going strong, and I'm very, very proud of her. Okay, you know, in Forever, there are several factors of success that I like to talk about. We have the excitement factor, the growth factor, and the stability factor. 
uh, when we use product personally in our home, that's what I call the excitement factor. That's what keeps us excited and enthusiastic about the company because we are constantly feeling the results. We are experiencing the results of our most uh, wonderful products. Sponsoring downline FBOs is the growth factor because that's how we, we are multiplying our time through others. We only have 24 hours a day that we can uh, sell the products, but as we sponsor others who also have their own 24 hours per day, we can dramatically increase the amount of volume that is generating through our group and we can, as a result, increase and to grow our business. So that's the growth factor. One of the most important factors is the stability factor, which comes from a regular customer base. This gives our business stability because we are having a constant income and a constant flow of product to the end consumer. Now, if any one of these is lacking or is weak, it is going to eventually affect the other two. For example, we can use all the products in the world and be very, very excited about them and sponsor lots of downline FBOs, and we may experience growth. But that growth is not going to last very long if there's no stability, because if our people are falling off and uh, the volume is dropping from each FBO just as quickly as it seemed to grow when they were first sponsored, then we are accomplishing nothing. Our net gain is zero. So we want to teach our people to develop the customer base so that they do have that stable stability. And therefore, the more um, people in your FBO downline who each are doing four case credits, that kind of like the floor or the base of your business keeps growing and growing as you keep adding more and more FBOs to your group. So be very aware of the importance of developing the four case credit base through retailing. Okay, so let's talk about how to build a a retail base, a customer base that does four case credits per per month. I'm going to mention four areas uh, right now before we get into our interview. Um, there are other areas that we can be involved in, but these four seem to be the most popular. Uh, become a product of the product, person-to-person uh, -person contacting, product launches, and FLP 360. First of all, become a product of the product. You know, uh, product knowledge from personal experience is the best kind of knowledge that you can get. It's one thing to read all of the manuals and see all of the videos about to what the products are designed for, what's in them, how they're made, and the quality of the products, and that, that information is helpful. But it will not do nearly as much to actually convince somebody to try the product as your personal experience because you are recommending them from a position of strength. You've used those products and you felt the difference and you are able to, uh, to uh, tell others about them. Others can uh, sense your conviction when you speak from personal experience and they're more likely to try the product. So we always want to be using the product ourselves. Next, person to person. You know, you can talk with everybody you meet 24-7. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. There's always an opportunity to talk with people that you meet. There's always an opportunity to tell people about how you feel, to, uh, to show people how you look by using uh, our skincare products, for example. It's very simple to talk about uh, how great our, uh, our skin feels or how wonderful our hair feels or how manageable it is through using our shampoo. It's great to, and very simple to tell people about how much energy that you're feeling and how much better you're sleeping and whatever it is that you're noticing through product use. Don't ever pass up an opportunity to, tr to talk with somebody about the products. Ask questions. I was taught when I first got into the business to ask uh, three questions of everybody I met. Those questions were, have you ever heard of aloe vera? The next question is, what do you know about it? And the third question was, did you know that you could drink it? And all of this would lead to a conversation that could lead to selling somebody some aloe vera jelly or the aloe vera gel, um, uh, whatever it is that you uh, wanted to talk about. Uh, relate experiences that you've had. As I mentioned, talk about what the products have done for you. And then always end by suggesting that they try the products. And you'd be surprised how many sales that this will eventually lead to. The next method is the product launch. Now, uh, I call this the most effective use of your retailing time because it is, uh, it, you're talking to more than one person at a time. Usually these are a little bit more um, uh, uh, formal 
product presentations than you would a, a one to one person on a casual meeting. Uh, they're, hold, they're held in home, a uh, very relaxed atmosphere. They can consist of uh, 10 people or down to two people. And I suggest that you have them regularly. Try to do one per week and try to do it on the uh, different nights of the week. For example, this week do it on a Thursday night, next week do it on Tuesday night, the following week do Thursday, then Tuesday. Rotate the nights so that people who you invite that may not be able to come on the Thursday night, the following week they may be able to come on the Tuesday night. And never forget to follow up on those who don't come and there's always a reason that they didn't come. Maybe they had other commitments or maybe they were working that night. Whatever it is, keep following up and offer them different nights you'd be surprised. You want to set up a small display of product. Uh, usually you can do that with your uh, Start Your Journey Pack. Just put the box there with the products uh, surrounding the box. And then as uh, you can be very informal, pick up uh, the bottles of product that you want to talk about, tell about your experience with the product and what you like about it, and uh, suggest that they might want to give it a try, answer any questions and so forth. So very, very effective. If you feel uncomfortable doing this at first, if you're brand new, then you might want to ask your sponsor to come and help you do the first uh, one or two with you. That is really effective if they live close to you and can attend in person, but you can also do it with FaceTime or other social media such as Skype and have them come into your product uh, um, uh, demonstration, your product launch uh, through that method and tell their story, tell about what they know about the products and so forth. Next is the FLP 360. This is one of my favorites because this gives you the opportunity of having your own personalized web page. Now, uh, this is available to all FBOs and there is a monthly charge for it. It's a very small monthly charge that varies a, a bit uh, from country to country. But uh, what it does is that it gives you a template it gives you a template that's already filled in and you can customize it if you want. You can go in there and you can edit the text. You can and, and, uh, put your picture in it. You can uh, replace the pictures that the company has selected with others and uh, uh, make it a, a very personalized tool that you're using. Here again, if you are not an expert at web page design, then you may want to just stick with what the pros have put in there for you. It's uh, their uh, complete pages. Uh, with plenty of information about the products and about the opportunity. So you can direct people to go to your web page. All you need to do is to uh, determine an address, a URL, uh, www.dansflp.com or whatever it is that you want to call it. As long as that name hasn't been chosen before, you can, uh, you can register that URL with the company and that becomes your web page um, address. Then it's a simple, and then part of your, your uh, sales activity has to do with directing people to visit your website. After you've talked with somebody, give them your card that's got this address on it and say, hey, visit my website and take a look around if you're interested in the products. You can purchase them through this website. The exciting news is, is that uh, when they get into your website, when they decide to purchase and go to the shop now function of your website, it takes them to the company store where they can the company will complete the purchase, accept the credit card, and give you all the credit. You'll receive the profit, the case credits, everything uh, the company will provide to you. So uh, don't, don't, uh, don't pass up the opportunity to use your FLP 360 account. Now retailing is actually very simple in FLP because um, the products, if, if the products had a mouth and two legs, they could literally walk around and tell people about themselves. But fortunately for us, they don't. They need to have somebody do the talking, somebody to go out and get in front of another person or somebody to place an ad. Um, so that's one of the, the, the things that we've got is that we've got products that once people try them, they find out the results that they get, they get excited and they not only want to purchase some, but they can there will be repeat purchases in the future. We have products to help people look better and feel better. I don't know of anybody in the world who doesn't want to look better or feel better. Products for everyone, no matter who they are, they can be using one or more forever products. And our products are guaranteed effective. 100% money back guaranteed, no questions asked. In North America, if a customer is not satisfied with the product, 
within 30 days of delivery, they can return that product for a full refund. So your people have nothing to lose. So I highly suggest that you get very, very involved in retailing and in building your base and teaching your downline to build a base as well. Okay, having said that, we now want to, uh, to introduce uh, the uh, recorded uh, uh, interview that we did uh, with Lynette McGuire. She is a very vibrant and exciting um, uh, manager living in Nova Scotia. Unfortunately, she was not able to make the uh, live webinar today because of some scheduling issues over in her time zone, but we did do an exciting interview yesterday with her. I had that great opportunity. I want you to listen especially to her story as to how she got started and why she got started into forever. She's going to relate some very, very um, uh, interesting methods that she uses for retailing and that she's been very, very successful at, and you will be inspired, I guarantee you. So let's go and listen to this pre-recorded interview with manager Lynette McGuire. Okay, we are very, very uh, pleased and excited to be able to interview one of our up-and-coming uh, managers in North America, uh, uh, Lynette McGuire, who is uh, in Nova Scotia, and uh, she uh, joined Forever Living Products in uh, June of 2015 and became manager the following year and has had a very, very vibrant and uh, growing business since then. And uh, so we're excited to be able to hear a little bit about uh, retailing from her. So, uh, Lynette, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Bill. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. Great. Hey, uh, before we start, uh, why don't you give us a little bit about your background, where, you came, where you're coming from, and what, uh, what brought you to forever, if you would. Yeah, no problem. Um, well, first and foremost, Bill, you know, I am a wife and I'm a mum to two beautiful little boys, Caden, who was six, and Harley, who was two. Uh -huh. So, you know, my background before starting forever was that I was a professional dancer, I trained in ballet and modern in the United Kingdom. But um, upon meeting my lovely Canadian husband in 2007, we ended up moving to uh, Vancouver, BC, and I ended up going back to school there and training as a massage practitioner. Now, I love that profession. I did that uh, very happily for the next five years. And I also, you know, took the leap of faith to become my own boss and rent my own clinic. But with that, you know, family obligations and daycare costs all quickly caught up. So I ended up having to put my career on hold and, you know, stay at home. It was definitely a hard decision for me, you know, it was a hard decision mm -hmm. to, to not, you know, be able to work. So in February 2015, when my second son Hardy was born, he was just two weeks old at the time, and that's when I learned about the opportunity uh, of, with Forever. Um, I don't know how to explain it, Bill, but it definitely did ignite a fire in me, and I just couldn't switch it off. Oh. I find myself, you know, I find myself thinking about it all the time. And I'd always wanted to find that feasible work from home option. Uh -huh. So, you know, doing that research, um, I ended up just following that gut instinct and jumping in with both feet. You know, I, I'd watched a lot of the videos on Emma Cooper and I felt, you know, really inspired by her journey. And it generally did make me think, well, if she can be successful, why not? Why not go for it? I knew it would take hard work, you know, discipline and a desire to change. So. I had absolutely no background in sales, had no idea how I was going to grow a business, but I've always been disciplined disciplined, and, you know, taught myself the skills to move forward. Okay. Fast forward two years, you know, I'm, I'm a manager now in the business with um, a growing organization and I've got three managers in my downline that are all building really great businesses with Forever. Yes. So it's kind of exciting time, you know, to be part of this company, especially within North America. It's completely untouched, so I recognize very early on you know, when I started the business that we're really, we haven't scratched the surface with North America with this business. So, you know, I, I'm really excited about the future, you know, with Forever and um, yeah, excited for things to come. Great, great. Well, that's, uh, that's, uh, it gets me excited just hearing you uh, uh, talk about uh, how excited you are. Um, what was the, what was the first product you, uh, you experienced in Forever? You know, the first product I experienced was uh, the propolis cream, actually. My little boy, Harley, had got really bad um, cradle cap, and I tried everything, and nothing seemed to work. So I had heard about the propolis cream being really good for that condition, 
and um, that was one of the first pro products that I tried on Harley and it worked a charm and ever since then I've been really hooked. Oh great, great. Okay, uh, now uh, it sounds like you you had decided to uh, to uh, uh, build the business immediately upon uh, joining. Is that true or did it take you a little while to really get serious about it? You, you know, Honestly, from the moment I committed to the business and, you know, signed up and bought that business in a box, that was the moment I decided to 100% build. I'm an all-in or all-out kind of girl. Mm -hmm. um, so once I said yes and had done that thorough research, there was no turning back for me. Now, I, like I said, I had no idea how I was going to do this. You know, I didn't, but I, I knew I was disciplined enough to learn the skills to move forward. So I just said, yes, I'm doing it. And then I figured it out as I went. You know, very early on in the business, I understood the opportunity we were sitting on, especially in North America with it being mm -hmm. so untouched. And Great. I thought to myself, well, you know, if the UK can be number one country within forever, well, there's absolutely no reason why North America can't smash that title, especially with the huge population here. So, you know, to answer that question simply, Bill, I was definitely committed from day one. That's great, and that's a, that's a mark of a great uh, great leader is to uh, see the potential, and uh, regardless of uh, of what you uh, uh, did know or didn't know, uh, jump in with both feet and de be determined to learn what needs to be done. Um, what uh, obviously uh, there must have been some obstacles you had to overcome as in your uh, trek to man to manager. I know that you uh, in the middle of all this you moved you had a, you moved your family you relocated your family from one end of Canada to the other. So tell us a little bit about some of the obstacles you you had to face. You know, Bill, I I believe honestly in any business and in life in general, everyone will face obstacles. They'll always be present. Present. It's you know it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. However, I think you know once you learn to overcome these and work on how you react to certain situations, then it does become easier. I believe like a lot of people, you know, in network marketing, we have we have all been faced with very similar issues and challenges, you know, negativity, people telling you it can't be done or it won't work, even team members that you have spent a lot of time and effort helping and then maybe dropping off and even joining other companies. Um, you know, being misunderstood, maybe at times as a person, you name it, you know, I have experienced it all and it hurts. And on them moments you do start to doubt yourself and your abilities. But then you also have to take a huge step back and look at how far you've come, reassess those goals, adjust your focus, and uh, you know power through those challenging times because this is what develops you as a leader. There's no easy road to success. You have to develop that tough skin, have that unshakable belief and, and passion for what you're doing, and you know match that with the activity needed to work on your mindset daily because the mindset stuff that's going to be your armor against all the challenges that you're going to face along the way. So true, so true. Okay, um, how has, uh, how would you say that FLP has changed your life? Uh, I've noticed a few posts that you've made on Facebook and it seems like you're having a ball with your family. What, what's, uh, what's different now? You know what, my parents just left yesterday, Bill, and I had six wonderful weeks with them. And all that was due to being part of this company. I was able to completely pay for everything for my parents to come to Memphis, Nashville, and then back to Nova Scotia. And that was all done with my forever income. So I will be, you know, forever grateful for, for that alone. Um, you know, I honestly can't imagine my life without this business. I, I lost myself a little bit when I had to change careers, you know, from... A professional dancer to a massage therapist and then becoming a mum on top of that I sort of felt like I kind of lost my identity during these transitions mm -hmm. so you know forever has really ignited a fire in me and brought me back to life so to speak I've never been so certain that this is my calling and the right path for me you know the personal growth alone and the self-development I've undertaken in the last two years has just been incredible I used to be petrified of public speaking you know, alone, and here I am today talking to you on a webinar. So that's a big, you know, learning learning experience for me to be able to do this. You know, I have been challenged and I've been pushed out of the comfort zone, but I now truly understand as a leader that that's where the magic happens. The lovely friendships too that I've made within my team and the wider Forever family, you know, it has been lovely, and people will be part of my life because of this business. 
the financial side you know it's also been a plus for my family but most importantly the invaluable time I've had with my children it's something that I'll never ever take for granted because there are so many parents out there having to go to them nine to five jobs and maybe aren't happy in them jobs and miss that quality time you know with their loved ones and their children so you know forever really just has given me the most amazing choices to create you know the life that I desire it's been an emotional two years with the company but I believe full-heartedly that I'm just getting started and you know I like to say to myself that's the apprenticeship up apprenticeship over now Lynette mm -hmm. it's time to really set bigger goals and reach further than you know I've ever imagined possible and I want to help my team do exactly the same you know just to see the changes happening in their lives to know that I've had some small part of that makes it just so rewarding to make me want to help more people you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is so true and you are helping a very very vibrant group of, uh, of FBOs up in your area so we're proud of you, and uh, it's so uh, refreshing to hear about the uh, the experience you were able to have with your parents and the travels. Uh, I have to I have to uh, wonder uh, who in the family is the Elvis Presley fan. You know what? It's actually my mother, but I'm also a huge Elvis Presley fan. Right. So Memphis, Tennessee, uh, Graceland. That is really really fun. That's right. We ended up even going back twice. No. Oh, so that, that shows our, <laughs> our love for Elvis. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Okay. Well, Lynette, today's training is centered on the, the, our, the very, a very fundamental activity in Forever, and that is of retailing, uh, which is, is so important to the growth and stability of every FBO's business. Uh, can you give us a little insight on how you go about this part of your business, some, of, some ideas and uh, little uh, hints yeah. and tricks that you may have learned along the way? Yes, no problem, Bill. I can give you quite a few tips here along the way. You know, um, let me just start with, you know, when I first started this business two years ago, I remember watching the training videos, you know, training videos after training videos of all the top leaders in the business and within the Eagles. And they would always say one thing, master that 4CC every single month and the rest will follow. So that one piece of significant advice has always stuck with me and I've never missed my 4CC. You know, I, I try to average between 6 to 10 plus CC every single month. Now, don't get me wrong, the first nine months of my business reaching that 4 CC, it felt like a mountain to climb. I had to work extremely hard getting out there, you know, doing the tabletops almost every weekend, coffee mornings with smaller groups. And just to get the products in front of people, as no one in Vancouver at the time had even heard of the company, so a lot of groundwork was needed. However, I also saw that um, as a massive opportunity to share the products and the business. It, like I said, numerous times that the UK can be number one within forever, numerous years running, with a smaller population, then I quickly realized we hadn't even scratched the service in North America. So I just got to work. Between tabletops, showing in gyms, and using my customer VI pages to share product knowledge, I kept trying to think, you know, outside the box and come up with new ways to get the products in there. My greatest success to date in retailing has been using realtors. So I came up with the idea to pitch to realtors on doing individual gift baskets for their home buyers. Now, when we moved to Nova Scotia, we were, we were given a lovely casserole dish. Don't get me wrong, it was a nice casserole dish, you know, when we purchased our home. The bell went off my head and I thought to myself, well, why not sit down and present this idea to a realtor at the time? And so I did, and she loved it and has many happy clients who now love the Forever products and continue to order from me every month. What kind, also yeah, what, yeah? Sorry, what, what kinds of products would you put in these baskets, would she put in these baskets? Well, I, she gets me to do 10 baskets at a time and five of the baskets have nine products the other five has 10. So we have like um, the MPD, we have the hand and face soap, the propolis, the jelly, avocado soap, aloe lips, hand sanitizer. She's, she tends to just stick to the same groups of products that she uses herself and that she likes. So, okay. Um, okay. More of the personal care, uh, personal care products there. Yeah, more stuff that's more sort of, uh, you know, ge generic for the homes, basically, what yeah. every family can use in the home. Okay. So wonderful. that's really, really that that alone, that one customer has brought me in, you know, a substantial amount of CCs in the last couple of years. Wonderful. You know? 
Okay, wonderful. Okay, we'll continue. Sorry to, for the interruption, but I was just curious of what you put in the baskets. Yes, no yeah. problem. <laughs> Um, so another great thing is online events and fundraisers. They're also a great way to reach new potential customers. You know, when I was home in Ireland during my transition to Nova Scotia, I did two online events for a little girl that had Rett syndrome. And it was all done via the parents' social media contacts, so not my contacts, all through theirs. You know, on one particular event, I did over £700 in sales. And that felt so rewarding, you know, to be able to do that for them and to get the products into people's hands that knew nothing about the company. So it's a win-win situation. You're giving back as a business owner, but you're also gaining a lot, a lot of new customers. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that's really worked well for me is the cleaning company. So any local cleaning companies within your area, contact them and ask them to sample the MPD. Now, I had a lady that sent me an email after being referred to me by one of the cleaners that uses the MPD, and she absolutely loves the products, and she's now a regular MPD customer for life. But just because she's been introduced to the Forever product, she also buys the shakes and everything now of me. So that's a great, uh, great tip there for you. You know, our business, it truly is all word of mouth. The more hands you can get the products into, uh, the better. You know, going that extra mile for each customer they'll always return. You know, another little tip I can give you, every birthday and every Christmas, I will send a small forever uh, money voucher to each customer, just to ensure that they will be well looked, be well looked after and appreciated for their business. So treating your customers right will always, you know, bring more business and referrals your way. It's definitely the extra details that make you stand out from other business owners. And obviously the Clean Nine and the Fifth programs are also amazing amazing products that can be really sold to larger groups like wedding parties people looking to look good for the big day or gathering groups to do it you know to work alongside yourself so for accountability always ask for referrals from your c9 customers offer a small gift incentive for their help and uh, permission to use their before and after pictures via their social media that way you're tapping into a brand new network of uh, potential customers it's all about you know, building the relationship with your C9 customers throughout those nine days. They may join your business, especially if they're having really good results. And even if they don't join the business, they may want to carry on with the FIT program or other, other um, you know, the supplements and the shakes, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, lastly, it goes without saying, personal use of the products. I always order at least one case credit of products personally for myself and my family each and every single month because we love them and unless you're using the products and are extremely passionate about them then how can you recommend them people will walk into my home and they'll see only aloe you know because i i really truly am a product of the product we all have we all have favorite products you know but i would suggest each month on your order that you buy something new that new that you can um that you haven't tested yet and that way you're adding to the list of favorite products that you can recommend and sell to your customers. I often use the, uh, the KISS 7 retail strategy. A lot of people have probably heard of that. It's where you choose two high price products, for example, the Clean 9, uh, the Sonia Skincare Kit, the Vital 5, and then choose five lower price products. Change it up each month if you want and use this strategy to challenge yourself. You know, how many each of these products can you sell? It's all about planning your month out, you know, don't leave it to chance. I think the key to having that solid retail business is planning and being one step ahead always. Even now I look outside, you know, it's summer, you know, this is the time to actually be booking in those fall and Christmas fairs. I have three booked personally already and I think it's always about forward thinking, planning and constantly adding new customers to your business because that's the lifeline of the business, you know, and it will ensure that you bring in that income consistently every single month. Great. So that's just a few tips there. Bill, oh, hope that helps. A few tips, man. That that is a that is a a, a wheelbarrow full of. I think any FBO can uh, can take away from that. To, it's really really good. It's no wonder that uh, you've developed that four plus uh, case credit habit each month and have been able to do that. We appreciate uh, that very much. 
Um, no problem. Okay, a couple other things then. Uh, let's uh, let's switch gears and um, let's go back to uh, to achieving manager. Uh, we've got lots of FBOs in North America who, of course, want to become a manager. And for those who are manager, maybe they want to uh, develop managers under them. Um, so, if I was to ask you what single piece of advice you could give to those who are um, who are uh, wanting to achieve this uh, important level in forever, what, what would that advice be? You know, it, for me, this piece of advice is just very simple, um, but it's to be 100% committed, not one foot in and one foot out. If you're going to do this business, jump in with both feet hard. You know, to get to that manager position, it is completely all about momentum, and if you take your foot off the pedal, your business will slow down. Um, getting to manager, I'm not going to lie, it can be a real roller coaster of highs and lows, and sometimes you can feel stuck, you know, at one position for too long, but just keep going, you know, day by day, put the activity in, work heavily on your mindset, and it's amazing what you can actually achieve when you believe you can do it. I know personally for me, when I was going for assistant manager and a manager, I would write in my journal, I'm a very visual person, so I would write in my journal, and I would go as far as actually recording uh, videos of myself as if I'd already achieved it. And you know what? It might not work for some people, but it worked for me. You know, the power of intention definitely is incredible. So you become, you become what you think about the most. So, you know, my advice is just to make sure that you're definitely feeding that mind with, with good things and reading good books and surrounding yourself with uh, uplifting people, you know. So be 100% committed. That Excellent. would be my advice. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. And uh, uh, Lynette, uh, in closing, uh, what's your next goal? What are you aiming for now? Um, well, definitely my next goal, I'm, I'm definitely aiming for a car plan and chairman's bonus for this year, 100%. But I'm also, a big goal that I'm really uh, passionate about right now is to help my supervisors get to their next level, assistant manager and manager. You know, I have a few in the team that really want to hit that next step on the marketing plan. And I know personally for myself, this is where I felt stuck for many months. I made supervisor in uh, five, six weeks, but then I found jumping from supervisor to assistant manager was my toughest challenge. So I really want to help them achieve this next step and you know see their businesses flourish. And in doing that, that will that will help me too, you know. So definitely car plan, chairman's bonus, help uh, help uh, my supervisors get to that next position. And that's a that's a very very worthy goal. You know, the more people we help, uh, the more we can't uh, help but uh, but progressing in the company. Uh, Lynette, uh, it's been a pleasure uh, talking with you today, and I, I think I speak for all of the FBOs who are listening to this uh, webinar that uh, the advice and uh, that you've given is is uh, is going to be used, and your story is so inspiring. So thank you very much for being with us, and we look forward to seeing you grow and uh, become uh, uh, even more of an influence in North America. So we appreciate you very much. Thank you very much, Phil. Well, there you have it. Some very effective ways of retailing and some great advice on what it takes to reach the top. Our thanks again to Len Lynette McGuire. Well, it's time to close for today. As always, this program will be available for uh, in a couple of days for you to review on Vimeo.com. And you won't want to miss uh, the next webinar in two weeks. You see, the marketing department has done something unusual. They have been posting a, um, a questionnaire on Facebook and asking our FBOs which of the products that they would like highlighted in our next training. And the uh, response was that you voted for the household products and personal care products. So that's exactly what we'll feature. Until then... We wish you all the best as you work to build your forever business. Bye for now.